they need 18 runs off six balls to be bowled. So the odds favour Australia. Alan Lamb on strike to Bruce Reed. Smash that. Coming back for the second, the throw is wide of Bruce Reed. Two runs. Hesitation by the batsman. Wild throw by the fieldsman, Wellham. That's four. That makes it interesting. Lamb's first boundary of 99 deliveries faced, and what a time to hit a four. Alan Lamb, it was a dangerous batsman, but really we thought the game was over. We were almost celebrating before the last over was bowled, especially Bruce Reed bowling. He would have been an all-time great, except for he's obviously had the back issues and he couldn't stay in the park. But, you know, he was as good as Mitchell Stark is today. I mean, he was a great bowler. Bruce Reed. Swung that at six. Is it? That's a big hit. It's somewhere over there. I can't see it. It's gone. It's gone for six. A magnificent hit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What a hit of Bruce Reed over Ron Lamb. Gave himself some room. He smashed it. The ball went high into the sky. And away it went. Two boundaries for Lamb, a four and six just at the right time. You know, he hit a couple over the mid-wicket and Bruce didn't find his Yorker. He, he tried for the Yorker but kept bowling half volleys. And I think as a bowler, you know what you've got to do, but you start to tense up. And uh, when you haven't got that relaxed rhythm in your body and you tense up, all of a sudden the ball doesn't come out the same way. And uh, most often than not, it's, um, it's either a half volley or a big full toss. And um, you know, that happened to me on occasions as well. So as a bowler, you've got to learn to relax and trust your judgment. But you know, back in those days, the ball we went to was always a Yorker. And uh, I guess Alan Lamb knew it was going to be up full and, and Reid didn't quite get it right. Six of three balls. Stray need a wicket. Smash. Wellham, Wellham Fields, just the single. There's the throw, they're going through, it's an overthrow. What a time for an overthrow. There's another one. Oh dear, oh dear, just at the wrong time, the wheel's falling off, a little bit of panic. This game's far from over, but Lamb, the man in a crisis. Big dangerous down fine leg. There's nobody down fine leg, and he goes over the top of the keeper. In comes Bruce Reed. There it goes, it's in the gap, it's going over towards the boundary, it's four runs and Lamb pulls up a miraculous victory. What a performance by Alan Lamb, he struggled for 99 deliveries, he hit a four, a six, a two and a four and the crowd has gone wild and all of a sudden out of the blue comes Alan Lamb and away goes two points for Australia, a victory that was never on with two overs to be bowled. Then all of a sudden 17 runs scored, we lost the game, we come back in the change rooms and you know, it was a massive feeling of huge disappointment because you know, every game was, um, you know, it seemed like a real battle for us to win back in those days and that was a big match and to have it taken away probably against our best bowler, we just felt as if, um, you know, we, we just, um, you know, snatched defeat from the jaws of victory basically.